The waters around New York City used to be home to millions of oysters. Rich and poor dined on them, and they were one of the city's biggest exports. But the water became more and more polluted, and the oysters died off. And with them went the bivalve's incredible ability to help clean the water. When they feed, the upper valve raises up, and they have ciliated gills, these sheets of tissue, and pump water through them. And as the water goes through them, there's a gas exchange, gills, same as in fish. But in the case of the oyster, the, the particles that are in the water are filtered out as well. These waters in the shadow of New York's LaGuardia Airport are anything but clean. But slowly, Dr. Ray Grizzle and his team are trying to help oysters take root again. Not too long ago, you wouldn't have found any oysters in this water, but things are changing. So we've got, a, we've got an oyster that's uh, fully reproducing female, probably, two years heading into its third year, uh, and, and looks good and healthy, good growth. This is the really good news. Kate Orff is a landscape architect, and she's hoping to put bivalve's unique ability to clean to good use. Orff sees a future where oysters and other bivalves can help reshape the urban landscape, even help the Gowanus Canal, one of the nation's most polluted waterways, become an attraction. You know, oyster texture was conceptualized as setting into motion a system where baby oysters could be seeded in the Gowanus and then flow out and uh, build up and develop on um, the, uh, the Bay Ridge Flats, which we're calling the sort of Palisades Bay Reef. So you have this cycle set in motion of sort of baby oysters, reef building, cleaner water. Orph and Grizzle both know that oysters are not the sole solution. The city needs to want the waterways to be clean and take the necessary steps in that direction. But while oysters can't do it on their own, Grizzle believes they can help. The thing about oyster restoration that's different than perhaps just about any other uh, efforts that I know of it, is it, it has multiple benefits. The habitat quality, it improves habitat for fish, invertebrates, other species, and it also provides water filtration that, that will affect water quality. These oysters won't be going for three bucks a pop in the city. They are not for consumption. But Grizzle hopes the more of them that grow, the cleaner the water will get. And maybe in the future, oysters from these waters will be clean enough to shuck. David Martin, Associated Press.